So Zoe and I were both introduced to tracking three years ago in a class called Environmental Sentinels. We both took it in our sophomore year here at IC. Um, there was a quick unit on tracking and we both were sort of interested in it from there. And from that point when we were deciding, oh, well, we have to do a research project and we want to make sure that it's interesting to us, we decided, okay, let's, let's bring tracking into this. So when we're putting up a trail camera, uh, we look for a lot of different things. Um, the first thing that we want to zone in on is habitat. Um, so first things first, you want to um, figure out you know, where the animal in question, in this case black bears, might be hanging out at that time of year. So you, you, know, you look into maps, you try to find aerial maps and topographic maps of the area and find potential habitats and places where bears might like to hang out. Um, so it's kind of confusing to a lot of people because we're focusing on black bears. We technically haven't gotten black bears on our cameras yet. And that's actually a good thing to us because what we're trying to do is beat the black bears back and get cameras in um, different uh, monitoring uh, setups set up around where we think they're going to come back. So when they do get here, we know and we can catch them. But the techniques we were using to track black bears and their species range, we have used around here to find the tracks of otters and fisher, which are both in the weasel family and also bobcats. We have pictures of bobcats, you know, walking up logs and bobcats coming right after a raccoon. And then we have pictures of three otters, you know, hanging out and sliding on ice and then a fish are coming by the next day. It's really amazing to be able to follow these tracks and really connect to the animal in that way and know that you're following a live creature and then put up a camera and catch that animal that then feels like a friend on camera and be able to go to someone who may not believe that tracking is necessarily the most viable technique and say, look, we found this animal via tracks and now we can advocate for it because we know it's here and we can protect its habitat. And that means a lot to us. So while well, we haven't captured bear, I think it's been incredibly successful and we've captured a lot of really cool stuff on camera.